Hello and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate and today we're talking about the top 10 scary dentist stories. Now I don't know about you guys but I hate going to the dentist but dental hygiene is really important. In fact I'd say dental hygiene is pretty key for your health and attractiveness. Nothing grosser than a placky old tooth. Ooh. There are a few gross things on this list as well as some real spooks. But before we get into it, I just wanna know, are you afraid of the dentist? Let me know in the comments section down below. Also, maybe we'll run a poll, yay or nay. Also, while you're down there, why don't you leave a good thumbs up on this video, share it with a friend, and click on that notification bell for a daily treat from us. Also, if you guys wanna connect with me on social media, there's a link to my Instagram in the description box. All right, dentist, what you got for us? Coming in at number 10, we have the dentist who left a girl with brain damage. In December 2013, a three-year-old girl, Finley Boyle, was left in a vegetative state after a trip to the dentist in Kalua, Hawaii. Her parents filed a lawsuit against Lily Geyer and the Island Dentistry for Children for negligence and dangerous conduct. It seems the toddler's parents were told that she needed six fillings and four root canals. Finley was given improper medications with incorrect dosages. This led to her having a cardiac arrest during her procedure. Her parents alleged that, on top of that, that the little girl was left alone for 26 minutes and nobody was there to resuscitate her. Sadly, the outlook looked very bleak for Finley and her family. Coming in at number nine, this guy went to the dentist and got permanently stuck in 2005. William wishes he never went to the dentist on the 14th of March 2005. Why? because he's always there. William's internal clock is jammed at 1.30, the 14th of March 2005, in the middle of a dental appointment. What happened was that he had dental surgery with an anaesthetic and something went terribly wrong. In an interview with local news publications, he said, I remember getting into the chair and the dentist inserting the local anaesthetic. After that, a complete blank. Now it seems that he had a bad reaction to the anaesthetic and it caused his brain to hemorrhage. He now wakes up and constantly believes it's 2005. What a horrifying story. Coming in at number eight, there are no two ways about it. This point is about maggots and I'm not okay with it. An article in Women's Health magazine has horror stories written in by dentists. One of them was written in by Dr. Gary Glassman and it really got me. I'm just gonna read it for you. A little boy jumped into the dental chair and was actually excited to have his first trip to the dentist. His parents explained to me that he seemed to be rubbing one side of his mouth a lot with his hands. When I looked inside, I noticed his gums were very swollen and found maggots in the area. After cleaning them out, I talked to him and his family about proper dental care. Right, maggots, plural, like absolutely no thank you. If I'd ever thought about a life as a dentist, that one really has shot the whole idea to hell. Coming in at number seven, we have dentistry of the past. Look, if you think these dentist stories are bad, then just imagine what used to happen in times gone by. What went on might not be documented, but get a load of these legitimate devices of torture. Look at this here bow drill from 7000 BC, or the dental pelican of the 14th century. Sounds fun, sounds cute, it isn't. Also, hip hip hooray for the dental mouth gag. Do you want to know what they did with the dental key? Probably not. Also, do you want to bear in mind that anesthetic wasn't invented until around 1800, although they did have drugs such as opium. When someone's winching out one of your teeth with a dental key, I'm actually kind of thinking, you know what? Give me the opium. I need the drugs. Coming in at number six, we have Chopper the Ghost. This is actually one of my favorite stories of all time. I'm just gonna go out there and tell you that right away. So Chopper was a ghost that plagued a dental office in the city of Neutrabling in Germany. In 1981, Chopper made himself known by pestering patients and dentists in one Bavarian office. The haunting began exclusively by telephone. Dr. Kurt Batscheitz or his dental assistant Claudia would speak to patients on the phone, but they would be rudely interrupted. The so-called telephone ghost would spew insults and slurs in a distorted voice. The ghost then began to taunt patients in the dental office with its voice coming from a spittoon. Chopper was a nasty male who spoke in vulgarities, except to Claudia, with whom he was lovely. Eventually, Dr. Batscheitz called the police because he thought the ghost 
ghost was too much of a pest. When the police came to investigate, they too heard the voice, which had begun emanating from plug holes, wash basins, and chairs. Becoming convinced of the ghosts themselves, police investigated 55 neighboring apartments. They made ultra voice measurements in the sewers, and even high frequency physicists built their measurement devices. However, they could only record the voice, they couldn't discover its source. The German media went mad for the story, with a lot of people becoming interested in Chopper. Eventually, one shrewd policeman noticed that Claudia was always turning her back while Chopper was speaking. He observed her in a mirror, and her lips were moving in accordance with the dental ghost. Right. It seems it was all an elaborate ruse. She and the dentist were in it together, and they used voice projection skills to create the ghoul. Claudia admitted that she invented the spook to relieve the monotony of work and to get publicity. Eventually, it all became too much for her. She changed her name and became a recluse. Coming in at number five, we have Goodbye to All Teeth. There have been so many horror stories of dentists pulling out all of the patient's teeth. It happens way more than we'd be comfortable knowing. Actually, it even happened to my mum once. She didn't have all of her teeth removed, but the dentist did pull out the wrong tooth, which is not okay. You just don't want to lose healthy teeth. You really don't. In 2014, a 23-year-old sued a dentist in Clayton, Missouri for extracting all of his teeth because he had an abscess. Dr. Mark D. Mayers of Eat Right Dentures told him that all of his teeth needed to be removed and charged him $5,000 for the work. Skylar King reluctantly agreed, but afterwards he learned that most of his teeth were recoverable and the abscess was treatable. King's lawyers said, the plaintiff has subsequently learned that the x-ray showed that the plaintiff had at least 28 recoverable teeth. I guess that'll teach him to get a second opinion, seriously. Now, King was forced to be toothless because he couldn't afford dentures. Okay, this is actually what my nightmares are made of. Coming in at number four, we have calculus bridge formation. Do you want to know what's terrifying? Calculus bridges, that's what. These appeared on one of my good old things you shouldn't Google list, but it turns out I actually can't protect you forever because they have to appear on this list as they're one of the scariest things that dentists will ever have to face and one of the scariest things that could ever happen to you. If it does happen to you though, you brought it upon yourself. These nasty looking buildups of hardened dental plaque happen when you don't brush your teeth. Once plaque has hardened like this, you can't remove it with a toothbrush. Instead, a dentist needs to use ultrasonic tools. Sometimes the smell is so vile that the dentist gag, and sometimes removal of these disgusting bridges even makes teeth fall out. Ugh. Coming in at number three, we have death by extraction. While it certainly feels like I'm gonna die sometimes while I'm at the dentist, I generally speaking try and use my rational mind to dissuade me from thinking it will happen. But then again, after hearing this story, I'm worried again because maybe it will. In 2016, Haley Drinkle died a week after visiting the dentist. The 49-year-old from Grimsby in the UK died from septicemia after having a tooth removed at dental practice. The telesales manager had multiple injections before the extraction as a result of some kind of complication. The post-mortem concluded that Haley likely contracted some kind of infection from bacteria after her dental treatment. Coming into number two, we have the dental murderer. Oh great, your dentist turns out to be a murderer. Less than ideal. Tony Protopappas was a dentist from Costa Mesa in California. In 1982, it seems he decided to turn to murder. On the 30th of September, he injected 23-year-old Kim Arison with nine lethal doses of anesthetic as he removed her wisdom teeth. He then killed 31-year-old Catherine Jones in February 1983. Six days later, he killed a 13-year-old girl. Like, what an absolute sicko. When a dentist goes to give you a dose of anesthetic, you trust them. Don't suspect they're gonna kill you. Okay, I kinda wanted to end this list on something a little bit more jovial because let's face it, it's been intense. So, coming into number one, you haven't seen horror until you've seen modern day dental training equipment. You think your job's hard? Try being a dentist. This picture was posted on Reddit and Jesus Jiminy Christ the cricket, I am terrified. Who is this villain? Redditor is probably our post wrote, tried to make this less creepy, didn't work. I love some of the comments on this. So one person wrote, is that the British ambassador? Which, like, well. Anyway, this led me to wondering whether or not dentists have other scary training instruments, and oh boy, do they. Like, why? Why are they all screaming? Why are they all looking directly at you? And if they aren't, why are their eyes glazed over? Some of these are half humans, half robots, and I'm 
categorically not cool with it. Also, why are they hanging upside down? So guys, that was the top 10 scary dentist story. I've actually got a bit of a sad dentist story. I uh, once had a root canal and the dentist left a tiny bit of drill in my tooth. So I'm very, very scared of going back. If you've got any scary dental stories, don't forget to share them with me. Before I leave, I wanna read some comments from one of my recent videos, the top 10 scary alone in the shower stories. Epic failure said, I'm never taking a shower again. That's not really what I planned by the list because showering, like dentistry, very important. Ellen McAllister said, this is one of my greatest fears. You're so vulnerable in the shower. That's why I take baths. I actually do love baths, but I moved into a new house recently and there aren't any bath taps and that makes me sad. Oh, always alone in the shower. Queen Unicorn said, yes, of course I sing in the shower. I sing for some reason. It fits with my mood in the shower. Great. I love tub thumping by Chumbawamba when I'm in the shower. Although you've got to be kind of careful of not slipping over and falling to your death. So guys, I think it's time to wrap up this video here. Do you have any further? the thoughts do leave them in the comment section down below also don't forget to leave a good thumbs up on this video share it with a friend and stay subscribed for more most amazing lists i'm your host rebecca felgate see you next time